Did you know a dental implant can get an A-plus in survival, while at the same time get an F in success? An implant can actually survive in the mouth and still be a failure. This is because there is a big difference between survival and success. A prominent study showed that nearly one in five were failures. There are many ways that an implant can fail, but what defines success? The Academy of Osseo Integration describes implant success as a stable, functional, and aesthetic tooth replacement. Providing an implant that meets this criteria can be more challenging than you think, because implants dramatically increase biting force, and if not managed properly, can lead to major problems. Since there is no periodontal ligament, the implant is static and does not move like other teeth, and forces are directed into the restorative material and from there into the implant. So what type of restorative material is best? You don't want a material that is too strong and rigid because the force is sent like shock waves into the implant and bone. This includes zirconia and glass ceramic materials. You don't want a material that is too flexible because the force will bend and reshape the material. This includes composite block materials. You want a material that is just right, one that offers biomimetics in both form and function. Rigid enough to stay in place and flexible enough to act like a shock absorber, diffusing and depleting forces away from the implant and biomechanical interface. In short, a restorative implant material should provide force absorption, reduce biomechanical stress, provide stability to preserve bone, look great, feel great, have biomimetics like a natural tooth, and last a very long time. Is this all too much to ask of a restorative material? We don't think so, and we have just the material to prove it.